we are back and welcome to a new vlog today we are back with another travel vlog and it is based on a true story today we are going to the mountain tobat which is located in a small town alkhel which is 30 kilometers from the city leila at alaflaj located 330 kilometers away from riyadh Our parents are the most excited ones because they have heard a lot of stories and songs about Leila and Alkhais. By the way, it's a love story. And when they narrated the story, we were really excited to go to the place and they especially told that it's in Saudi Arabia, so we really wanted to go and we forced them to go there. So let me tell you a small description on the whole story. Leila is a town in central Saudi Arabia. It is the principal town in Al Aflaj. It is believed to have been named after Leila Al Amriya, a 7th century woman who was from the local tribe of Bani Amir, uh, who was immortalized in the poetry of her lover Qais ibn Al Mulawwa. The native people of this area are really helpful because we lost our way in the middle, so a Saudi helped us. Uh, he not only showed us the way he guided us to the route and he was really helpful thank you if you are seeing this video we want to tell you thank you because of guiding us the way okay let's come back to the story now the romance of kais and leila is perhaps the most famous romance of the arabic literature and was chronicled by azeri poet nizami in Leila Al Majnun which is known in English as Leila and the Madman as the boat shows Jebel Al Tobat it is clearly known that we are nearly to the destination we are really going to the destination now so we are really excited to see the whole place and it's really adventurous i guess yes it is adventurous you have to see the whole video if you want to know how adventurous this will be kais and laila fall in love with each other when they were young but when they grew up laila's father doesn't allow them to be together kais becomes obsessed with her and soon began composing poems about his love for her mentioning her name often laila's father refused because as you all know none of the fathers will allow their daughters to be married to someone who is considered as mentally unbalanced afterwards laila was married to another noble and rich merchant belonging to the tariq tribe in taif named walt al takafi of the mountain okay let me continue my fabulous and amazingly going story um after her marriage kais began wandering the surrounding desert the the family his family eventually gave up hope then he could be seen sometimes uh, reciting poetry to himself or writing in the sand with stick Yeah so after her marriage she became ill and eventually died in some versions Leila dies of heartbreak from not being able to see her would be lover oh this part is the most heartbreaking part and Majnun was also later found dead in the wilderness in 688 AD near Leila's grave he had carved three verses of poetry on a rock near the grave 
which are the last three verses attributed by him. So we're going back now. While we were stepping down, we had a great heart touching feeling. I really don't know how to explain this uh, about thinking their eternal love. And we felt that the nature wanted to tell us more about them, what they had witnessed. Either this is a myth or true story we wish may almighty make them together in heaven. We also found a lot of old houses. So we hope you loved today's tragic and amazing love story travel vlog. Let us know your valuable comments in the comment section. Definitely people will like to see the place where they heard about for the past centuries. So please share, share this video to all your friends and families who love traveling. And if you're watching our videos the first time, please subscribe to our channel. Also click to the bell icon to get more notifications. So see you next week. Bye.